Good day and welcome back to Let's Talk. This is now our third episode with Sister Christina Roach. And for those of you who've been listening to episode one and two, you would have heard of her upbringing. You would have heard about her tragedy with her sister passing, her mom passing, and her father passing. And in the last episode, she said she thought what else worse could happen. But she also mentioned she realized that God was preparing her for what is to come. And we'll continue now to find out what that was. Sister Christina? So the next challenge that came was my health. Um, started battling with my health. Mm -hmm. um, several different things. But again, God had a purpose for my life. When I realized how he allowed me to have that time out in the world. So now I have a testimony. Mm -hmm. I could mm -hmm. tell anyone it pays to serve God. The joy that I have now. I thought I, I'm going to be honest. I had a good time. I enjoyed myself, but that was the pleasure of the world. Yeah. The peace that God gave me could never compare to the peace of what the world gave you. Because the peace of the world is momentarily yep. party. The next morning you're tired. And perhaps you drink some wine. And you wake up in the morning, you had a $20 and that $20 gone. And now you need, you need a 10 for gas. And you're like, why did I do this? or you have to buy clothes every week, and it's, it's, it's just temporary. And then you feel empty again. Yeah. But the peace of God that I have now, even through my challenges, the difference between a believer going through challenges and a non-believer, you don't get thoughts of, you don't get suicidal thoughts. Okay because you know in who your faith is. You know who you believe. You know whose word you could stand on, whose promises you could stand on. Some of the things I've been through, if I wasn't grounded in God, I would have given up a long time. Okay. Perhaps done something, hey, and regret it afterwards. Mm -hmm. But now, I could pray, I could sing, I could worship, I could call on him, I could call a sister, I could call a, whoever it is, and we just encourage each other. Yeah. That's the difference when you know God and you have a personal relationship with him. Yeah. And that is where I wanted to reach having a personal relationship with God, not just knowing Him, but having a personal relationship yeah. with Him. Yeah. And that's why I could look back at the beginning, I said it's the difference. You know Him, you know about Him, mm -hmm. you know He loves you, mm -hmm. you know He died on the cross for you, but do you have a personal relationship with Him? Because when you say you love somebody, if you don't have that personal relationship, um, you don't know nothing about the person. True. You, you, you want to know more about them, what they like, the color, what they eat, where mm -hmm. they like to go. Mm -hmm. You want to know everything about this person. Yep. When you say, I love this person. So when you say, I love God, don't you want to know everything about him? Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's the hunger that I have, because I love him. I love this man. And you know the good thing about it? This man we call Jesus. Look at it. Millions of women could love this one man and none of us get jealous of each other. <laughs> none of us get jealous mm -hmm. of him. On the contrary, we're telling each other about this one man. Yep. We want to introduce him to others, to others <laughs> and not feel jealous about it. Mm -hmm. Isn't he wonderful? Oh, yes. Awesome? Oh, yes. And this is the man I'm in love with. Lovely. I love him. I love him because he has done so much for me. Just the thought of him protecting me 
when I was going places that I should not have been going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And doing things that I should not have been doing. Yeah. And yet still he spared my life. So now you have that testimony which you, you, you were looking for in the beginning. I have it. Yeah. I have it. I could stand up now and say, he saved me from a life of sin. He saved me. And I'm happy for that because... Maybe, maybe I'm one out of a thousand that was thinking that way, you know? <laughs> what am I testifying about? Everyone mm -hmm. might not think that way. But, of course, in a million people, there's one who's a little different. Than the other. <laughs> so, um, I'm happy, I'm happy for that. I have a testimony. And I could introduce anyone to him. Because it's worth it. Mm -hmm. It is worth it. Even though you're going through challenges, he didn't promise us. He didn't promise us that everything was going to be a bed of roses. Correct. But the difference is he's with us when we're going through yep. it. Yep. It says we're going through it. We're not mm -hmm. staying there. Mm -hmm. We're going through it. And he's mm -hmm. there with us. Mm -hmm. He's there with us. So for those who don't know him, and who's like me, grew up in a Christian home. Mm -hmm. You know everything about that. Mm -hmm. But still have that desire to yep. be out there. Yep. It's not wrong. I don't think it's wrong. But I could tell you now it's not worth it. Okay. It's not worth it. You might still want to try, but I've been there. I've been there. So I could tell you, if you're there, and I know you're feeling empty, because I've party, I felt empty. I've traveled all over for business, for pleasure, mm -hmm. and still that emptiness will creep back in. And you're always looking for something to fill yep. that emptiness. Yep. Try Jesus. Try him. He will fill you with a joy unspeakable. He will give you a peace. And for those who know me might say, yeah, but you're going through so much things. Yes, yeah. but I'm not going through it alone. Correct. He's with me. He promised he will always be with me. And that is what keeping me going. Lovely. Just before we wrap up, as I ask the last two guests, is there something that you would like for us to pray with you about? Something that you would like to share with the audience that they could help you pray about it at this time? Yes. I'm at the point where I'm going back home. Back to Curacao. Back to Curacao. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's awaiting. But my desire is that God will use me because when I went on pension in January, I went on pension yeah. and I said, I'm going on pension and I'll have more time to work for the Lord. Yep. That didn't really happen. I was working harder for the mm -hmm. past months than when I was not on pension. Oh, okay. Um, so my desire right now is that God will use me in a way. I will spread. I don't know how he's going to do it, what platform he will give me, yeah. where he will place me. But that's my desire. I want to give the rest of the years that he has for me. Mm -hmm. I want to give it back in serving him, in helping others who come to know him. One of my other requests are that he would heal me completely. Okay. Strengthen me that I could do his work. Physically, I have my challenges, mm -hmm. but my desire is that he would give me that strength that I would be able to work 
for him for many more years. Yep. So when you're praying, remember me in prayer that my health would be restored according to his will. Yep. Because everything is his will, That's the right. will of God. Mm -hmm. A lot of times what we want might not be what he has planned for us. Correct. But if it's his will, that is what I would like you all to pray for me. I want to be strong to sing for him like I've never sung before. Mm -hmm. um, give my testimony, open doors that I could give my testimony yeah. and let others know that it's not too late. And if you're on the wrong path, just, just, just hope. There yep. is hope yep. for you. So that's my request that I would wish that you all would pray for. Well, here's what we'll do. We're going to pray right now for you. And we're also going to wrap up this episode. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for your goodness to us. We thank you for your servant, Sister Christina. God, we've heard so much of her life. And you know, much of it we still didn't hear. But God, you know her completely. And listening to her there, God, that emptiness that she had inside when she was younger, God, you have been filling it. And God, her desire is to be used by you in whatever area, whatever platform, in any way possible. And God, I know for sure you provide those opportunities for her to be used by you. When those opportunities come, may she recognize these opportunities as opportunities and not obstacles. And may she take them and just spread your name and your fame wherever she goes. Her desire and her prayer as well is for her to be healed physically and to be strengthened because all that she needs to do for you on this earth needs to be done in the body that she has. Please provide that strength for her. Please provide that restoration and that uplifting for her there, God, that she'd be able to carry out all that you want her to do. We ask as well that you grant her many more years that she just devote her energy and the rest of her life to serving you. We thank you for her once again. We thank you for her testimony. We thank you for the folks that listen in from time to time. And I pray that these words would touch some soul. And for the ones that may be considering and thinking, well, you know what? You made your mistakes. Let me make mine too. Or I want to have my own experiences away from church and away from God. God, we ask that your spirit would arrest them right now. Yes. And draw them back to you, dear God. And for those that have already strayed, Bring them back to you, we pray. For those that may be listening, that have never yielded to you and do not know you as Savior, draw them to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.